What is shoulder arthritis? So similar to the hip or the knee. When the smooth coating in the joint wears down, what we call the cartilage, when that wears down, it can cause pain, inflammation, and stiffness. For many patients, non-surgical management like physical therapy and injections can do a great job and help reduce their pain and they can live with the arthritis. However, for some patients who have much more severe or advanced arthritis, those things don't work and they have very limited function and it really diminishes their quality of life. Now for those patients, shoulder replacement surgery can really improve their life and improve their function. As in many other sectors of medicine, shoulder surgery is benefiting from new technology, better innovation, making shoulder surgery safer, more reliable, and with better outcomes. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the new innovations in shoulder replacement surgery. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. So here are x-rays looking at a shoulder. And the x-ray on the left is a normal x-ray shielding the ball and socket with a space between the ball and socket, which is actually cartilage. Now on the right image, you can see where that red arrow is pointing. There is no more space between the ball and socket. And again, this space represents cartilage. So as you can see, this x-ray is demonstrating arthritis. Now with advanced arthritis, not only does the cartilage wear down, but the bones like the ball and the socket can also wear down. And this deformity and bone loss increases the complexity of putting in these artificial components for a shoulder replacement. Now to help, one of the new innovations is advanced computer software. And this allows us to send our patients for a CAT scan and this CAT scan can give us a very good image of the shoulder, and then we input it into the computer software. The CT scan and the computer software help us map out the exact shape of the bones and where there are any bone deformities, which enables us to provide precise positioning, size, and the shape of the new shoulder implants tailored more specifically to each patient. And additionally, this software helps us assemble intraoperative guides that again help us with more precise positioning of the artificial implants. The next innovation I want to quickly discuss is implant design. And these new innovations in implant design actually improve the procedure and safety for the patients. Traditionally, the shoulder replacement had a long stem, as you can see on the left side of this image. But one of the implant designs is to go stemless, so you don't have to have that long stem going into the bone. A meta-analysis demonstrates some of the advantages of this new innovation. And this was a meta-analysis of 22 studies with over 900 patients. And this meta-analysis found that with the stemless design, there was significantly shorter operative time, which is great. It means less time under anesthesia for the patient. And additionally, there was significantly less blood loss during the surgery. So these are two great benefits. All these new innovations are great, but the key question is how do patients do after shoulder replacement, which takes several months to recover from? Many patients with shoulder arthritis suffer also from stiffness, so they have limited motion. They can't move their arm much. And a lot has to do with either the deformity of the bones or also significantly because of the thickening of the capsule. That's the lining of the joint, and that can restrict their range of motion. Now, one of the benefits after shoulder replacement is improving their range of motion. So in this meta-analysis, again, of 22 studies with over 900 patients, they found that patients significantly improved their range of motion. For instance, their ability to forward elevate their arm was before surgery to about 90 degrees, so to about here. But after surgery, they were able to get it up to about 140 degrees. So that's a significant improvement for patients that can really improve their day-to-day -day functionality with that arm. Now, the next component of improving after surgery is reducing their pain and improving their function. And here again, studies have demonstrated these improvements. So in this meta-analysis of six studies in over 900 patients, so again, they demonstrated after shoulder replacement, reduced pain and improved function in things like being able to put on a coat or sleeping on that side or combing their hair. So these day-to-day -day activities, that functionality has improved after shoulder replacement. Many of my patients who have shoulder arthritis and are undergoing shoulder replacement are typically or had been very active physically and they were playing sports and they ask me, are they able to get back to these activities after they have shoulder replacement? And the answer for many of them is yes. So in another meta-analysis of 13 studies and again over 900 patients, 
they found that 85% of patients after shoulder replacement were able to return to sport. And the most common sports were swimming, golf, and tennis. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my office or in my next video.